we present PixelNerf, a new framework for predicting neural radiance fields from one or few images in a feedforward manner. PixelNerf can seamlessly incorporate multiple observations such that given two views, it can output a more accurate representation. Further, PixelNerf models the entire scene, so it can be trained on more complex settings with more than one object without modification. We can even apply PixelNerf to real scenes from the DTU dataset without test time optimization. In contrast, because NERF is unable to exploit prior knowledge common across scenes and purely relies on multi-view consistency, it performs poorly when only three input views are available. Our model equips the volumetric NERF representation with fully convolutional image features, so priors can be learned across scenes. The input image is first encoded into a pixel-aligned feature grid. We then render points along a target ray, and for each 3D point, we query the feature grid at the projected pixel coordinate in the input image and pass the image feature along with the coordinates of the point in view space into the network to get color and opacity. This is done for every point along the target ray, then volumetrically rendered to the pixel value in the novel target view. When multiple input views are available, we encode each input image into a feature grid. The multiple features are processed in parallel and aggregated into the final color and opacity. We perform extensive experiments to validate PixelNerf in comparison with existing methods. We achieve new state-of-the-art results for view synthesis and ShapeNet, both for single category and category agnostic settings. Here we train a single model to the 13 largest categories of ShapeNet, showing qualitative comparisons to the strongest baselines. SoftRAS outputs a mesh of limited resolution and cannot represent arbitrary topologies. We show renderings without color since texture inference is not supported in the official code. While DVR uses an implicit surface to allow arbitrary topology, it tends to miss by structure since it continues to use a single global latent vector to represent the shape. SRM does not use image features at all and instead requires a test time latent inversion step using ground truth absolute camera poses. By using local image features, our method clearly captures more fine detail in both appearance and geometry compared to the baselines. Here we show additional results in this setting. Note that unlike the prior works, our method operates in view space rather than canonical space, using only relative camera poses both at training and test time. This choice of coordinate system also makes PixelNerf applicable in more general settings, where canonical space is unavailable, and as we will show, offers better generalization. Training the model only on airplanes, cars, and chairs, we find that it can generalize to additional unseen object categories with superior performance compared to prior works using a canonical space. We can also train to scenes of two ship chairs without further modification. Here we show results from one and two input views from a single trained pixel nerve model. SRN now fails catastrophically, as in this setting, it is unclear how to define a canonical space. Furthermore, we can apply a trained pixel nerf to real cars in a sim to real setting, without any fine tuning or camera estimation. For purposes of this demonstration, we remove the background using point rent. Since our method operates in view space and does not require mask supervision, can also perform wide baseline view synthesis on complex real scenes from the DTU dataset, using only 88 training scenes. PixelNerf can obtain some reconstruction from only one view, and outputs better results with more observations. In contrast, NERF fails to achieve reasonable results with very few views. Despite being trained on three input views, our method also improves slightly with more views. Note that pixel nerf results here are direct output of the network without test time optimization, 
whereas training a nerve takes 14 hours for each scene and set of input views. Here we show more results from three input views, without any test time optimization. None of these scenes or objects shown are seen during training. Please see our website and paper for more results and code.